He needs a specialized facility where there are no women, no contact with the outside world, metal bars, and it's a prison. Instead of opening this weekend with its take on Harvey Weinstein's sexual assault scandal, Saturday Night Live kicked off with another President Donald Trump sketch featuring Alec Baldwin. Many viewers on Twitter were quick to call out the NBC series for skipping out on a Weinstein-centered cold open, as the scandal wasn't touched until nearly midway through the night. Also on this week's episode, Kellyanne Conway toned down her makeup and morphed into a killer clown. Cecily Strong pulled double duty as not one but two Trump wives. And host Kumail Nanjiani compared Islamophobia to Will and Grace. But let's start with Weinstein in this week's must-see moments from Saturday Night Live. On Weekend Update, after Colin Joe suggested the disgraced producer should skip rehab and go directly to jail, co-anchor Michael Che explained why joking about Weinstein is a dicey situation. It's so hard to make jokes about sexual assault, but it's so easy to make jokes about a guy that looks like this. <laughs> but Che did take issue with Weinstein's response to reporters, where he said, we all make mistakes. Che said flatly, no man, a mistake is me walking into the wrong bathroom and using it anyway because I was crowning. He assaulted dozens of women. That's not a mistake, that's a full season of Law & Order. Ahead of the weekly news desk, A.D. Bryant returned to host a New York Film Festival actress roundtable with Viola Davis, played by Leslie Jones, Marion Cotillard, aka Cecily Strong, and Kate McKinnon's recurring aging actress, Debette Goldry, for a topical discussion of sexual harassment in Hollywood. I did have one meeting with Harvey, said McKinnon's Goldry. He invited me to his hotel room, and when I arrived, he was naked, hanging upside down from a monkey bar, trying to trick me into think his genitals were his face. It almost worked. The resemblance was uncanny. Goldry also brought up a top secret code she and other actresses used back in the day to warn each other about creeps. The code was, he raped me. If any men were listening, they'd tune us right out. Easy peasy. <laughs> Meanwhile, in one of the night's biggest highlights, demonic Pennywise the Clown from the horror movie It took the form of Trump advisor Kellyanne Conway, once again played by Kate McKinnon. She called out from the gutter to terrorize Alex Moffat's Anderson Cooper in hopes of landing a guest spot on his show. Kelly Wise did what she does best and offered him crazy quotes to get on air. Puerto Rico actually was worse before Hurricane Maria, and the hurricane actually did blow some buildings back together. This week's host, Kamel Nanjiani, opened the show with a political monologue. The big sick writer and star referenced the film, which tells the true story of how he met and fell in love with his wife, who he says is a white American person. He explained that some of the reception to his film was not kind, with people telling him to go back to India, despite the fact he's Pakistani and has never been to India. Nanjiani shared, My fantasy is when someone is racist to me, I want an injury to befall them immediately. And then I want to rescue them just to see the confused look on their face. He also equated Islamophobia, which he says is on the rise, to NBC's revival of Will and Grace. It was huge a while ago, and then we thought it was gone and done, and now it's back and bigger than ever. <laughs> Thursdays on NBC. And finally, Cecily Strong played not only First Lady Melania Trump in a digital shot where she forged a connection with Nanjiani's telemarketer, she also channeled first First Lady Ivana Trump on Weekend Update. Ivana explained that she was the real First Lady instead of his current wife Melania because she was married to Donald Trump first. Reading a bit from her new book, she detailed what being married to the president was like. He was never around. I had to do everything, she explained. No, it's not bad. He's businessman, so he's doing business away from the family, so I raised them myself. Aren't you afraid you might be pushing some buttons with this book? Oh, no! Look at my nails! I can to push buttons with this nail! <laughs> well, Ivana might not be able to push buttons, but you can, so click over to THR.com to watch the full sketches from this week's SNL. But first, what were your favourite moments from this week's episode? Did you like how they took on Harvey Weinstein, or should the show have done more? Let us know all your thoughts in the comments section. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Lindsay Rodriguez.